now we will try to understand the uh, winbridge oscillator this is also a second type of the oscillator and uh, you can you, uh, see here we have not used any rc network because we don't need to provide uh, the phase shift now this uh, series rc network and this parallel rc network they will be providing a zero phase shift and this feedback will be given to the uh, invert that is the non inverting amplifier here we have we are using the operational amplifier as a non inverting amplifier why because the feedback it is given to the non inverting side now again you will have to find uh, the value of beta and then the frequency of the sustained oscillations uh, so how to find so this is the v0 v0 will be given to this network now vf upon v0 you will have to find so again this is the rc combination you will have to convert it into the s domain so r1 will remain r1 only so when you are converting any element into the s domain that element uh, will become the impedance so in that case this one will be 1 upon c1s and this is 1 upon uh, c2s so z1 will be equals to r1 plus 1 upon c1s so this one will be this value it is 1 plus r1 c1 into s upon c1s now z2 will be equals to this is the parallel combination so r2 r2 into 1 upon c2s upon r2 plus 1 upon c2s so after solving you are going to get this r2 upon 1 plus uh, 1 plus r2 c2 upon s so now vf will be equals to what vf will be equals to we if you take uh, the voltage divider rule so in the voltage divider rule vf will be equals to that is z2 upon z2 plus z1 into v0 you have just calculated z1 and z2 you just have to put uh, these uh, two values in this equation and then uh, you will have to make the imaginary part zero after making the imaginary part you can have the beta value and then the frequency of uh, the sustained oscillations of wind bridge oscillator so we will be uh, doing this okay so beta will be equals to again put the value of z2 then uh, z1 plus z2 if you are going to solve all this then you are going to have this equation fine this is the equation now put s will be equal to j omega so what we have done in the previous lecture we have divide we have divided this uh, by uh, we have divided this entire numerator and denominator by this value that is r2 uh, c1 s because we want to free the numerator from any uh, any you can say imaginary value so beta will be equals to 1 upon if you are uh, if you solve this then you will be having this so s will be equal to j omega so what you have to do here now that beta will be equals to imaginary value of the beta will be equal to zero so the j value will be in the first term and j value will be in the second term so i think these two values are there okay uh, this is uh, the term this is the second term uh, make it zero only fine so after making it zero what you are going to get you see can you can see here one upon so this one will be r1 c2 j omega this j will go in the numerator that will be minus j upon r2 c1 into omega will be equal to zero now j and j will get cancelled up so r1 c2 omega will be equals to one upon r2 into c1 into omega so that will be omega square will be equals to one upon r1 r2 c1 c2 now you can assume or you can uh, as the assume the value that is uh, r1 will be equals to r if you uh, select all the values of the resistance uh, same and uh, same will be uh, the case for the capacitor then what you are going to have you will be having one upon omega will be equals to one upon under root of r square into c square and that one will be one upon rc so f will be equals to one upon two pi into rc so now beta will be equal to this value so how you can say that you can see the beta will be equals to what beta is only that uh, the, uh, the real part 
beta is only the real part so beta will be this is value is zero because we don't want any imaginary part in our equation because the magnitude of the uh, gain around the loop will be equals to one only and that one will not be having any imaginary part so this is zero this one is zero so what we have done here one plus r1 into c1 plus r2 into c2 upon r2 into c1 this uh, we can say that uh, because we have already selected uh, all the resistors value same and capacitors value same so this one will be one plus twice into rc upon rc will get cancelled up this one will be one upon three so beta will be equals to one upon three from the barca Hussein criteria a beta will be equals to one so a into one by three will be equals to one so a will be equals to three so amplifier gain should be equals to three now in the wind bridge oscillator in the wind bridge oscillator what you have done you have used the which uh, amplifier that is the non-inverting amplifier so for the non-inverting amplifier a will be equals to what 1 plus rf upon r1 fine right this is for the non-inverting amplifier and for the inverting amplifier it one it is will uh, it will be minus rf upon r1 so 1 plus rf upon r1 will be equals to here 3 so rf upon r1 will be equals to 2 so rf will be equals to twice into r1 suppose if you want to realize the wind bridge oscillator now suppose if you select r1 will be equals to 10k then rf should be equals to 20k only then you will be able to realize the wind bridge oscillator this is all about the oscillator that is the rc phase shift and the wind bridge oscillator so um, you can see here rf will be equals to twice r1 so this is all for today's uh, class we'll meet in the next class for the timer triple five